Hello there, and welcome to Do Me a Solid. Today we're going to be going over the indent feature in SolidWorks. Now, this is a very robust but underutilized tool that a lot of people may not understand, and I'm going to show you just how powerful this tool could be. First, we're going to go to the top plane and start a sketch. In this sketch, we're just going to make a simple center rectangle, and then we're going to extrude it to 60 thousandths of an inch. Now in the cases that I'm presenting here, this is going to be a good tool to use for injection molded parts, but you can use these in any application. These just happen to work best for these plastic type parts. We'll start with a 60 thousandths thin sheet of plastic. Now next we're going to go back to the top plane, sketch, and then we're going to insert a cylinder. So we'll start by making a circle and we'll put it anywhere here for the time being and do the same as previously and extrude it. I'll take it up an inch just to make sure that we have clearance but I'm going to uncheck merge result. What this is going to do is it's going to give us two separate bodies and will allow us to indent. You can tell that it's not merging because the outline of the tangency that would normally be there is non-existent. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use the indent command and I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Go to insert features indent now the target body is the body that you want to actually indent which in this case is going to be our original 60 thousandths sheet and then the tool body region is going to be the indent tool which is going to be our cylinder and I want you to focus on what happens when we do this so first things first you have two options here keep selections or remove selections the keep selections is basically the direction in which the indent will occur. So in this case when you do keep selections it's going to keep a majority of the body that we contained. Remove selections will go in the opposite direction. So that way you can see the difference. Another useful um, instance in the indent tool is that you can cut. Now the cut has properties similar to subtracting bodies in SolidWorks but there is a definite benefit to doing it this way because the indent tool allows you to add clearance so let's go back to the keep selections and see what we're talking about here so I'll go to the side view so you can all see what I mean the indent tool when you keep selections allows you a couple of parameters here starting with the thickness of the plastic that you want surrounding the part that you're indenting with so in this case I'm choosing 60 thousandths to maintain wall consistency for injection molding so once you select the tool, you'll see that it actually indented that cylinder into this sheet. Now, what we can also do with this and is nice is that you can go back in and then control clearance. Now, this clearance factor will do one thing and one thing only, but it's very critical to what we're doing. It's going to take the 60 thousandths thickness that you originally supplied to it and then it's going to add a 10 thousandths clearance to the outside of it. Now you can make this clearance whatever you want, but this will come in handy if you ever have to make a vacuum form part or if you have to make packaging like blister packaging for a toy and surround the entire surface of it. This will give you the opportunity to clear and do that in this area. The same thing goes with remove selections. It'll just turn the direction so it goes in the opposite way and you'll be able to do the same thing. Now with the cut tool, you'll see that obviously you're removing material, but you're not indenting anything. So in this case, you can't control the thickness, but you can control that clearance. Now this clearance is very useful, for example, when you're trying to determine the difference between a slip fit or a press fit with a machined part. In our case with the injection molding, we can generally do a 10 thousandths clearance on our parts to allow that this is going to be a mating surface and something will generally go into it. Now, that having been said, I'm also going to show you the difference between this and the subtract tool with the bodies since it's essentially performing the same function. So right now I will allow the indent tool to happen and you will see that there's a 10 thousandths clearance around the entire cylinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this back so it's just the cylinder and the body and I'm going to show you how the subtract tool works. You click on both of these bodies in the solid bodies area here, right click and hit combine and then you'll have the subtract tool show up. 
what you want to do is for the main body you also want to select the sheet and then you want to select the body that you want to combine and you can show the preview now the preview shows the cylinder removed from that sheet and that could be good if you don't have to reuse the body again if you do have to reuse it you can't when you use the combine tool so that's one of the obvious benefits of the indent tool with that in mind we'll go back and delete that and then we'll also make sure to show the next step so now we have two bodies I'm gonna go back to the indent tool and change this from a cut to keep selections because I want to show the indents power so here we go we have the indented piece but we still kept two bodies we have the cylinder we indented with and then the sheet that's indenting with it okay so first things first we're gonna hide the sheet and then keep the cylinder now what I want to do is I want to add a feature so I'm gonna sketch on top of that I'm gonna go ahead find the center of the circle add it extrude it even if a little bit so we'll go a half inch just for the sake of example but now I'm gonna bring back the other body I'm gonna unhide it now you'll see that I have an indent and then I also have this protrusion coming out of it because I still have two bodies what you can do is you can go back again and add a secondary indent and we'll have the target body again be the sheet and the tool body be that cylinder and then we're gonna cut so what this allows me to do and here I'll add a clearance of 10,000 so what this is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to create a boss with an indent on the interior so I have an indented piece and then I have a clearance hole and what this can do is this can allow a screw to come through here and join to another body so a screw head can sit against this surface and then the screw body can go straight through that hole I hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you learned something please like and subscribe and we look forward to making more